I'd been crying when I answered the phone, and she could tell. I was all sniffy. I told her I'd just done a line. I'd been having one of my little breakdowns. I'd been daydreaming about being on Michael Parkinson and Michael's voice was just inside my head, stabbing away with questions I didn't want to hear. I was in a state about a girl who'd led me up the garden path. She was too young to even know who I am. I get older, but they stay the same age. I used to wax lyrical. But here, in no uncertain terms, was the fall to follow my bout of pride. And boy, had I fallen. I had fallen for a girl half my age. That wasn't the plan. How rock and roll. I insulted her on the phone. Suzanne, that is, not the girl I was angry at. I said she wasn't a real girl. I don't know what I was thinking. What a shitty thing to say. So I told Parky about it. And that's when it all became clear. That was the moment. Now I understand. It was around that time that I'd first met Suzanne, but it was just before. Just before all the crazy started. I guess I just hadn't noticed her. Suzanne was a young girl at the beginning of a long journey from San Francisco to New York, coast to coast. And after the first leg of the journey on the Greyhound bus, the bus pulled into the station at who knows whereville. And the passengers all disembarked. And there was this young guy, very good looking, with a very serious look in his eye. They'd been talking all the way from San Francisco and he came to say goodbye to her, but you could tell that he wanted more. She said goodbye to him in that short, sharp, simple way, the way a no stops creation. And off he went out of the station, completely unaware that he was walking out of the world. And in the darkness, Two souls silently collided, like two halves of a rhyming couplet. And unaware of the sound of her own voice, she says to the guy handing out the suitcases, I need somewhere to stay. And I say, fine. And so there she was. She's always been there since that moment in the room, just not where I was looking. And now I'm looking into her eyes. And now I see myself as she sees me. It was always her. <laughs> 